Yashar, Jasher 34. And the number of all the males that were circumcised were 645 men and 246 children. But Chedekem, son of Pared, the father of Hamor, and his six brothers would not listen unto Shechem and his father Hamor, and they would not be circumcised. For the proposal of the sons of Yaakov was loathsome in their sight, and their anger was greatly roused at this, that the people of the city had not hearkened to them. And in the evening of the second day, they found eight small children who had not been circumcised, for their mothers had concealed them from Shechem and his father Hamor, and from the men of the city. And Shechem and his father Hamor sent to have them brought before them to be circumcised, when Chedekem and his six brothers sprang at them with their swords, and sought to slay them. And when they sought to slay also Shechem and his father Hamor, and they sought to slay Dinah with them on account of this matter. And they said unto them, What is this thing that you have done? Are there no women amongst the daughters of your brethren, the Canaanim, that you wish to take unto yourselves, daughters of the Ivrim, whom ye knew not before, and will do this act which your fathers never commanded you? Do you imagine that you will succeed through this act which you have done? And what will you answer in this affair to your brethren, the Canaanim, who will come tomorrow and ask you concerning this thing? And if your act shall not appear just and good in their sight, what will you do for your lives, and me for our lives, in your not having hearkened to our voices? And if the inhabitants of the land and all your brethren, the children of Ham, shall hear of your act, saying, On account of an Ivri woman did Shechem and Hamor his father, and all the inhabitants of their city, do that with which they had been unacquainted, and which their ancestor, ancestors never commanded them. Where then will you fly, or where conceal your shame, all your days before your brethren, the inhabitants of the land of Canaan? Now therefore we cannot bear up against this thing which you have done, neither can we be burdened with this yoke upon us, which our ancestors did not command us. Behold, tomorrow we will go and assemble all our brethren, the Cana'ani brethren, who dwell in the land, and we will all come and smite you, and all those who trust in you, that there shall not be a remnant left from you or them. And when Hamor and his son Shechem and all the people of the city heard the words of Chedekem and his brothers, they were terribly afraid of their lives at their words. And they repented of what they had done. And Shechem and his father Hamor answered their father, Chidekem and his brethren, and they said unto them, All the words which you spoke unto us are true. Now, do not say, nor imagine in your hearts, that on account of the love of the Ivrim we did this thing that our ancestors did not command us, but because we saw that it was not their intention and desire to accede to our wishes concerning their daughter as to our taking her, except on this condition. So we hearkened to their voices and did this act which you saw, in order to obtain our desire from them. And when we shall have obtained our request from them, we will then return to them and do unto them that which you say unto us. We beseech you then, 
to wait and tarry until our flesh shall be healed and we again become strong and we will then go together against them and do unto them that which is in your hearts and in ours. And Dinah, the daughter of Yaakov, heard all these words which Chidekem and his brothers had spoken, and what Hamor and his son Shechem and the people of their city had answered them. And she hastened and sent one of her maidens that her father had sent to take care of her in the house of Shechem to Yaakov, her father, and to her brethren, saying, Thus did Chidekem and his brothers advise concerning you, and thus did Chamor and Shechem, and the people of the city answer them. And when Yaakov heard these words, he was filled with wrath, and he was indignant at them, and his anger was kindled against them. And Shimon and Levi swore and said, As Yahuwah lives, the Elohim of the whole earth. By this time tomorrow, there shall not be a remnant left in the whole city. And twenty young men had concealed themselves who were not circumcised, and these young men fought against Shimon and Levi, and Shimon and Levi killed eighteen of them, and two fled from them and escaped to some lime pits that were in the city. And Shimon and Levi sought for them, but could not find them. And Shimon and Levi continued to go about in the city. And they killed all the people of the city at the edge of the sword, and they left none remaining. And there was a great consternation in the midst of the city, and the cry of the people of the city ascended to heaven. And all the women and children cried aloud. And Shimon and Levi slew all the city. They left not a male remaining in the whole city. And they slew Chamor and Shechem, his son, at the edge of the sword. And they brought away Dina from the house of Shechem. And they went from there. And the sons of Yaakov went and returned and came upon the slain and spoiled all their property with, rather, which was in the city and the field. And while they were taking the spoil, three hundred men stood up and threw dust at them and struck them with stones, when Shimon turned to them and he slew them all with the edge of the sword. And Shimon turned before Levi and came into the city. And they took away their sheep, and their oxen, and their cattle, and also the remainder of the women and little ones. And they led all these away, and they opened a gate, and went out and came unto their father, Yaakov, with vigor. And when Yaakov saw all that they had done to the city, and saw the spoil that they, had, that they took from them, Yaakov was very angry at them. And Yaakov said unto them, What is this that you have done to me? Behold, I obtained rest amongst the Canaanim, rather Canaani, inhabitants of the land, and none of them meddled with me. And now you have done to make me obnoxious to the inhabitants of the land amongst the Canaanim and the Perazim, and I am but of a small number. And they will all assemble against me and slay me when they hear of your work with your, their brethren. And I and my household will be destroyed. And Shimon and Levi and all their brothers with them answered their father Yaakov and said unto him, Behold, we live in the land, and shall Shechem do this to our sister? Why are you silent at all that Shechem has done? And shall he deal with our sister as with a harlot in the streets? And the number of women whom Shimon and Levi took captives from the city of Shechem, whom they did not slay, was eighty-five who had not known man. 
and amongst them was a young damsel of beautiful appearance and well-favored, whose name was Bun'ah. And Shimon took her for a woman, and the number of the males which they took captives and did not slay was forty-seven men, and the rest they slew. And all the young men and women that Shimon and Levi had taken captives from the city of Shechem were servants to the sons of Yaakov and to their children after them, until the day of the sons of Yaakov going forth from the land of Mitzrayim. And when Shimon and Levi had gone forth from the city, the two young men that were left, who had concealed themselves in the city, and did not die amongst the people of the city, rose up. And these young men went into the city and walked about in it, and found the city desolate without man, and only women weeping. And these young men cried out and said, Behold, this is the evil which the sons of Yaakov, the Ivri, did to this city, in their having this day destroyed one of the Canaanite cities, and were not afraid of their lives of all the land of Canaan. And these men left the city and went to the city of Tapnach. And they came there and told the inhabitants of Tapnach all that had befallen them and all that the sons of Yaakov had done to the city of Shechem. And the information reached Yashuv, king of Tapnach. And he sent men to the city of Shechem to see those young men. For the king did not believe them in this account, saying, How could two men lay waste such a large town as Shechem? And the messengers of Yashuv came back and told him, saying, We came unto the city, and it is destroyed. There is not a man there, only weeping women. Neither is any flock or cattle there. For all that was in the city, the sons of Yaakov took away. And Yashuv wondered at this, saying, How could two men do this thing, to destroy so large a city, and not one man able to stand against them? For the like has not been found from the days of Nimrod, and not even from the remotest time has the like taken place. And Yashuv, king of Tapnach, said to his people, be courageous, and we will go and fight against these Ivrim, and do unto them as they did unto the city, and we will avenge the cause of the people of the city. And Yashuv, king of Tapnach, consulted with his counselors about this matter, and his advisers said unto him, Alone you will not prevail over the Ivrim, for they must be powerful to do this work to the whole city. If two of them laid waste the whole city, and no one stood against them, surely, if you will go against them, they will all rise against us, and destroy us likewise. But, if you will send to all the kings that surround us, and let them come together, then we will go with them and fight against the sons of Yaakov. Then will you prevail against them. And Yashuv heard the words of his counselors, and their words pleased him and his people, and he did so. And Yashuv, king of Tapnach, sent to all the kings of the Emorim that surrounded Shechem and Tapnach, saying, Go up with me again and assist me, and we will smite Yaakov, the Ivri, and all his sons and destroy them from the earth. For thus did he do to the city of Shechem, and do you not know of it? And all the kings of the Emorim heard the evil that the sons of Yaakov had done to the city of Shechem, and they were greatly astonished at them. And the seven kings of the Emorim assembled with all their armies 
about ten thousand men with drawn swords, and they came to fight against the sons of Yaakov. And Yaakov heard that the kings of the Emarim had assembled to fight against his sons. And Yaakov was greatly afraid, and it distressed him. And Yaakov exclaimed against Shimon and Levi, saying, What is this act that you did? Why have you injured me to bring against me all the children of Canaan to destroy me and my household? For I was at rest, even I and my household. And you have done this thing to me and provoked the inhabitants of the land against me by your proceedings. And Yahuda answered his father, saying, Was it for naught my brothers Shimon and Levi killed all the inhabitants of Shechem? Surely it was because Shechem had humbled our sister and transgressed the command of our Elohim to Noach and his children. For Shechem took our sister away by force and broke in wedlock with her. And Shechem did all this evil, and not one of the inhabitants of his city interfered with him to say, Why will you do this? Surely for this my brothers went and smote the city, and Yahuwah delivered it into their hands, because its inhabitants had transgressed the commands of our Elohim. Is it then for naught that they have done all this? And now why are you afraid or distressed? And why are you displeased at my brothers? And why is your anger kindled against them? Surely our Elohim who delivered into their hand the city of Shechem and its people, he will also deliver into our hands all the Canaanite kings who are coming against us, and we will do unto them as my brothers did unto Shechem. Now be tranquil about them and cast away your fears. But trust in Yahuwah Eloheinu, and pray unto him to assist us and deliver us, and deliver our enemies into our hands. And Yahuda called to one of his father's servants, Go now and see where those kings who are coming against us are situated with their armies. And the servant went and looked far off, and went up opposite Mount Sihon, and saw all the camps of the kings standing in the fields. And he returned to Yahuda and said, Behold, the kings are situated in the field with all their camps, a people exceedingly numerous, like unto the sand upon the seashore. And Yahuda said unto Shimon and Levi, and unto all his brothers, Strengthen yourselves, and be sons of valor. For Yahuwah Eloheinu is with us. Do not fear them. Stand forth each man, girt with his weapons of war, his bow and his sword, and we will go and fight against these uncircumcised men. Yahuwah is our Elohim. He will save us. And they rose up, and each girt on his weapons of war, great and small, eleven sons of Yaakov, and all the servants of Yaakov with them, and all the servants of Yitzchak, who were with Yitzchak in Shevran, all came to them, equipped in all sorts of war instruments. And the sons of Yaakov and their servants, being one hundred and twelve men, went towards these kings, and Yaakov also went with them. And the sons of Yaakov sent unto their father Yitzchak, the son of Avraham, to Hebron, the same is Kiryat Arba, saying, Pray, we beseech you, for us unto Yahuwah Eloheinu, to protect us from the hands of the Canaanim, who are coming against us, and to deliver them into our hands. And Yitzchak, the son of Avraham, prayed unto Yahuwah for his sons. And he said, O Yahuwah Elohim, you did promise my father, saying, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven. And you did also promise me and establish you your word 
now that the kings of Canaan are coming together to make war with my children, because they committed no violence. And now therefore, O Yahweh Elohim, the Elohim of the whole earth, pervert, I pray you, the counsel of these kings, that they may not fight against my sons, and impress the hearts of these kings and their people with the terror of my sons, and bring down their pride, and that they may turn away from my sons. And with your strong hand and outstretched arm, deliver my sons and their servants far from them, for power and might are in your hands to do all this. And the sons of Yaakov and their servants went toward these kings, and they trusted in Yahuwah Elohehem. And while they were going, Yaakov, their father, also prayed unto Yahuwah and said, O Yahuwah Elohim, powerful and exalted Elohim, who has reigned from days of old, from thence till now and forever, you are he who stirs up wars and causes them to cease. In your hand are power and might to exalt and to bring down. O oh, may my prayer be acceptable before you, that you may turn to me with your mercies to impress the hearts of these kings and their people with the terror of my sons and terrify them in their camps and with your great kindness deliver all those that trust in you. For it is you who can bring people under us and reduce nations under our power.